Clever Cakes and Other Stories Clever Cakes Once there was a girl called Masha who lived with her granny at the edge of the woods. Granny! Yes, dear? Um, uh, can I go and play outside with my friends? Of course, Masha. But don't wander into the woods, will you? There are dangerous animals that bite. Don't worry, Granny. I'll be careful. Bye! Off went Masha to play with her friends. They played hide and seek. Let's play! Hi! Hello! Hey Masha! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Coming! Ready or not? Count next. Oh, um. Masha went away to hide and she hid right deep in the woods. Then she waited for her friends to find her. She waited and waited. This looks like a good spot. Where are they? Maybe, maybe this is too good a spot. So Masha came out of her hiding place and started to walk home. She walked this way, then that way, but very soon she knew she was lost. Then very suddenly, up came a massive, muscly bear. You're coming with me, little girl. I'm taking you home. I want you to cook my dinners and wash my trousers and scrub the floors in my house. But I don't want to do that or anything like that. Thank you very much. I want to go home. Tough bananas. I'm taking you to my house with me. And he picked up Masha in his massive, muscly paws and took her off to his house. I don't want to go with you. Stop wriggling. Put me down this minute. No, you're going to do all my chores. No, put me down. So now Masha had to cook and clean and wash and dust all day long. And she hated it. And she hated the massive muscly bear. Ooh, the news. Very interesting. Glad I'm not cleaning. I'm tired. Don't stop working. 
I'm so tired. Don't stop working. I'm so tired. I said, don't stop working. Please, can I sit down just for one minute? No. This just won't do. So she made a plan. <laughs> she cooked some cakes. Perfect. Mr. Bear! Yes? Can I take these cakes to my granny? No, you can't. I'll take the cakes to your granny myself. No, I won't. <laughs> I'll have them for my tea. <laughs> Right, I'll put these cakes in a basket and don't you dare eat them on the way to Granny's or something terrible will happen to you. Of course I won't eat the cakes. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> as soon as the bear's back was turned, Masha jumped into the basket. When he turned round, he picked up the basket and walked off. Bye, Mesha. I want this place spotless by the time I come back. After a while, the bear got tired. That basket was so heavy it was pulling off his arm. So he sat down. This basket is heavy. It's hurting my arm. Maybe I'll have a cake. But Masha called out from inside the basket. Don't you eat us, Mr. Bear? We're little cakes for Masha's granny! The cakes heard me. Oh, Masha did say that if I tried to eat the cakes, something terrible would happen to me. Maybe I shouldn't touch them. So up got the bear and walked on and on and on until he began to feel hungry. I think if I could eat the cakes without them knowing, maybe nothing terrible would happen to me. Hmm. But how could I eat the cakes without them knowing? Hmm. <gasps> Little cakes. Would you like to come for a little walk with me? Don't touch us, you great greedy glut! We're little cakes for Masha's granny! Oh, the devilish cakes heard me! They knew it was a trick! What clever cakes! Well, next time I won't say anything, I'll just put them down and gobble them up. He got up and walked on and on and on. But now the bear was getting really very, very hungry. It felt like there was a huge hole in his belly. This time he remembered not to speak. Very carefully he sat down and slowly he reached out his massive, muscly paw for the basket. <laughs> Ooh, time to try again. This time, very quiet. Don't touch us, you horrible, great, greedy glut! If you do, we'll hop out of the basket faster than you can blink and gobble you up! Ears and all! Oh, 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 they must be magic.
magic cakes. I better take them to Masha's granny as fast as I can. And he hurried on to Granny's house. When he got there, he shouted, Granny, Granny, open the door. I've got a basket of cakes for you. Ooh, delicious. Oh, my goodness. Time's up, Bear. We're going to gobble you up. Oh, the cakes are going to eat me. Help, help. The cakes are going to eat me. As soon as the bear was off and away, out of the basket popped Masha. Oh, how pleased Granny was to see her and how pleased Masha was to see her Granny. It's me, Granny. Well, I never. Thank goodness you're alive, Masha. What a clever girl you are to trick that great big bear. Never mind that. Let's eat these cakes. And that's what they did. Yum, yum, and mmm, mmm, yum again. Now, it would be great if you subscribed. That is, you become a subscriber. Look out for the subscribe button. What happens, you see, is that I make new vids every few months, and then I post them up one a week. So if you subscribe, you get to see the new ones just as they come hot off the press. Eww.